Ew, the light looks really weird on my face. Hi guys, I'm back for a video and welcome to Ready and Gasha. Hi guys, hello, I hope you're all alright and had a nice fabulous week. Okay, so today I'm here for a bit more of a sort of serious video. Some things happened recently in my life and I kind of want to talk, like I just need to talk about it and sort of get things off my chest and I hope that's okay with you guys. Um, so if you follow me on any of my social medias, which you should be, so all my links are below, um, you'll know this already, but sadly, last Wednesday, my grandfather passed away. Now, I'm not gonna downplay when other people's, like, grandparents sort of, like, passed away, but for me, you know, I, I lived with my grandparents, like, I've lived with my grandparents ever since I was eight years old, so it was almost like losing my dad again. I am gonna talk more about that in a minute, but I just wanna say a big thank you to everyone for, you know, sending me all the love. I did, like, a post on my Facebook page and stuff, and I got so many of you, like, sending me lots of nice messages and stuff, so thank you so much, it's really helped me, you know, it's, it has been a difficult week but you guys have helped me through it and I feel so lucky to have all of you in my life. Okay so every single time that I ask for Q&A there's always some things that I always get asked about. Contact lenses, piercings and another thing that I generally just ignore, I don't talk about it, I always get asked questions, where are my mum and dad? Like what do my parents think about this? You know how come I don't really talk about my parents and you know where are they? Because you know I live with my grandparents and so I thought today I would tell you all about like what actually is on in my life. I was born in Exeter in the the southwest of England um, in 1990 and at that time I was with my mum and my dad. There was always a lot of like fighting between my parents, like they used to argue quite a lot. I mean I'm not, I'm not saying we weren't happy because we were happy but like as a child you could, you know when your parents are fighting, like I knew that they were fighting quite a lot and when I was, must have been maybe about five, must have been about five years old, my parents did split up and me and my sister went to go live with my mum and my brother went to go live with my dad. That was fine and you know in that time when I I was living with my mum, I kind of had to go through a lot of stuff that most people should never have to go through, let alone children. Now I'm not going to go into like really much detail, but you know there was lots of alcohol, lots of drugs, there was lots of like people coming into my house, there was like, I just witnessed a lot of stuff that children should never see. My sister pretty much looked after me a lot of the time when I was younger, like my actual mum, I never really sort of... I didn't really have a mum in some way, and I know it sounds weird to say that, but like my sister was kind of my mum when I was young, you know, we would look out for each other, and that was pretty much how it was. And unfortunately, when I was eight years old, um, my dad did pass away. With his job, he breathed in a lot of like sawdust, and he was around asbestos quite a lot, and I think it like sort of just destroyed his lungs, and basically he died from it and that like it actually killed him. Since that happened my mum um, had a nervous breakdown so then I had to move in with my grandparents when I was eight years old because basically to put it bluntly I was unsafe like I was not safe living with my mum like I god knows god knows where on earth I would be or what would happen if I stayed with my mum at that time. So I had to move in with my grandparents, so me and my sister moved in with my grandparents and by then already my brother had already moved in with them because my dad obviously passed away. So basically my grandparents became my actual parents, so my grandma and my granddad, you know, they were that they pretty much who I saw as mum and dad. We were pretty much like a family again because it's been such a long time since I've really felt this sort of home sort of family environment. And then obviously we got older and my sister moved away. But just before my brother moved away, my grandma got diagnosed with cancer. So it was like, for God's sake, give us a fucking break. Within like the year space that after she got diagnosed with cancer, within a year she did sadly pass away in 2007. The weird thing was it wasn't actually the cancer that killed her. She um, got a chest infection, which was ammonia. And because all the chemotherapy that she did have, it ultimately ends up in killing her because her body was so weak from the chemo that the ammonia just completely wiped her out. You know, that was really hard because obviously it was just like losing my mum. Now, quickly talk about mum, so I should, I should have finished that bit off. I've not actually seen my biological mum for over 10 years. Like, it's been 10 years, like, well, more than 10 years now since I've actually seen her. I did keep in contact with her when I moved in with my grandparents for a bit, but it was just too stressful for me. Like, I just couldn't deal with it. Not only was I going through exams in school, I was struggling with coming out at the time, like I was really, I hated myself for it and I, you know, I was being bullied so much in school and there was like, I didn't really know what to do, so the one thing that I could get rid of, I know it sounds weird to say get rid of, but it was just too stressful to handle, was my mum, so I haven't actually seen my mum in over 10 years. Um, yes, yeah, so then my grandmother died, that was really sad, but then sort of like a year after that I would say my granddad got diagnosed with Parkinson's and Parkinson's dementia, so 
you know, just after all that happened, we were just like, for God's sake, like, what, what, what have we done to, like, piss Carm off because this bitch hates us? For the first few years, it was actually quite easy because, you know, part, with, with, the, with Parkinson's, it was one of those things that over time it does get worse and there isn't obviously a cure for it. So, but for the first few years, it was actually all right because if he was slowing, my granddad would slow down a little bit with things. He'd have, he'd have trouble, like, thinking about things, certainly, but, like, he was still fine. He was still able to do most household things. But then in 2011, things started to change and it started to like get so bad that like he kind of needed like a bit of care like he wasn't able to sort of dress himself that well and he wasn't able to do just certain things so between 2011 and now he like obviously slowly went downhill and then a couple years ago my auntie had to move in here this is obviously why I talk about my auntie quite a lot because I like, you know, she moved into this house to help look after him because my granddad pretty much needed like 24 hour care like he couldn't do anything on his own he had to pretty much be watched all the time because he kept trying to get up and like move around but if he was to stand up he'd end up falling over because he just couldn't walk anymore and for the past like year or so it's been like really bad because like he was starting to kind of forget where he was and he didn't really understand what he was doing or he was he was calling us by different names and stuff and he wouldn't he wasn't computing who we were in his head so it was almost like he was forgetting who we were and like every single night every single night he would be shouting now if you follow me on twitter I used to tweet about that quite a lot. I could hear, I, I used to tweet about how I could hear my granddad shouting. I was like, I don't know what he's dreaming about, but it's bloody interesting because I was just constantly, he was constantly shouting all night. So like none of us were really sleeping. But like a week ago, he like was fine. And then all of a sudden he just sort of went into this weird sort of like sleepy coma state and we could never really wake him up. And we didn't really understand what was going on. The next day we also had the doctor come out and um, basically the doctor just said he's got ammonia. I'm like, we were like, what? Like what's going on? And so, because of obviously all the Parkinson's that he has, because but at this point his brain was so slow, all the oxygen, all the power was going to fight this infection, but it pretty much put him into a coma. All, all circulation really just got, got cut off from his brain, and it killed him. Like, that's basically what it is, it just, it just killed him. Although it is terribly sad, I, I've been saying to people, I would much rather him go now than if he was to be completely insane, living in like a nursing home, not understanding anything, not knowing anything, not, you know, like being a vegetable. <sighs> it's sad, obviously it is sad and it is terrible. I know I've had all my moments and I'm glad that I'm not crying on here because I'd hate for you guys to see me upset. But I just want to come on to like tell you guys that that is obviously what has happened, you know. Again, I always get questions about where's my family and whatever happened. Just like basically that like, my dad did pass away. I don't see my mum, I haven't seen her for 10 years, you know. my. I lived with my grandparents and you know now both of them have gone so I haven't really had the best luck you could say and I want to say again thank you so much for all the messages that you have sent they have meant so much to me and it's just been overwhelming the support and like the love that I have got so thank you guys I love you so much but anyway guys I'm sorry this video has been so sort of like depressive but <laughs> there's nothing I can really do I no longer have my parents and I no longer, no longer have my grandparents so <laughs> it's not really the best thing but so please hit the like button because that's really helped me out and I would say share with your friends but this video isn't really trying to share with your friends <laughs> so be fabulous please and be gay be everything you want to be and don't let any bitch other take on you because you are flawless yes thank you and thank you granddad for giving me a home thank you for allowing me to have a childhood because without you I wouldn't have had it where will I be? What would I do if you never helped me through?